All right, it's burger time. Here we are. We're going to throw down some smash burgers. You know what, though? We're going to do things a little different today. We're actually going to develop a recipe right here. So we're just going to start playing. I'm going to put some stuff together that I think is going to work and the reason why I'm putting those things together. And we'll see how it turns out at the end. So let's get this thing rolling. First of all, I want to throw my onions on. When those hit the grill, I just want a really light sizzle. Now, I'm a huge jalapeno fan, but I'm also a huge Serrano fan as well. Serranos are a little more easier to work with just because the heat's more consistent. Jalapenos can be everywhere. Serranos are always just normally fairly hot. So uh, I like to use those. That way I can have my consistency. So one thing that I have learned is make sure you don't overwork your meat. Keep it really loose. We're going to keep that loose. Let those juices work its way up through that burger patty. So these are going to be, end up being about a quarter pound. The start of the show of these burgers are going to be that crust. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to just get a really thin crust on both sides. Just get awesome flavor all the way through. All right, let's see how our onions and peppers are doing over here. Yeah, the onions are starting to sweat nicely. Peppers got just a little bit longer. They're starting to blister. I'm going to go ahead and add some mushrooms to this mix. So this is going to add that really good umani flavor to all that. One thing to remember with these flat tops, you have a ton of control. So if it's not doing what you want to do, go ahead and just adjust it and get that going for you. If it's too hot, turn it down. You might even have to turn it off. Maybe you turn off the, the two center ones and use the outside ones. Just use that control to your advantage. I'm just going to go ahead and add a sh little shot of oil. All right, those peppers are starting to blister. They're where I want them. We're gonna mix them in with the onions. And just let all those flavors start to meld. I start out with just a little bit of oil on there. Now one thing to remember when you're doing burgers, you gotta have that fat in there. I'm an, I, my burgers, I like to have 80 meat, 80% 80 meat, 20% fat. So that's the 80, 20. The fun, fun part, just go ahead, give a nice smash down. Trying to make the burger taste the best that I can and I know I can do that with just salt and pepper because I really don't want you know any other kind of seasonings competing with the rest of the rest of the burger a bit but we're gonna throw a little spiced rum on these onions and peppers and mushrooms I just want a little splash oh man that flavor okay we're gonna move these peppers right over all right so we got our onions and peppers and mushrooms on now we're just gonna put a layer of cheese over the top of that. Now we just got ourselves this, this flavor bomb sitting there. And to get this cheese melted, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it. I got it on low. We gotta do our buns, right? Let's get those buns toasted. All right, let's get these put together. We got our buns that are toasted. You gotta put some thought into when you're layering these and how to layer them. Iceberg works really well for burgers because it's crispy and you wanna put that on your bottom bun. It's gonna be a lot easier to eat. Plus you can tell your mama that you ate some vegetables if you have the lettuce on your burger. Next, we're gonna put our burger on, right on top of that. We're gonna double these bad boys up. Okay, on top of that, I want something that's fresh. I want something that's not cooked. I want a little bite of freshness. So I'm gonna put some tomatoes on there. We wanna make that tomato the best it can be. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Woo, tomato down. All right, here in Utah, we like our fry sauce. I personally don't like it all that much, so I make my own. This is my barbecue sauce that I make with a little bit of mayo in there. We'll just mix that together. And use this as our sauce. Moment of truth, here we go. Let's see how we did. I think it's gonna require a second bite. Smash burgers on a griddle. Can't beat it. 